About three years ago, I was growing my YouTube channel and getting about 30,000 views a month, which means I was still a pretty small channel. I decided to click the monetization button so I could start getting paid. Then on Friday, September 9th, 2016, I logged into my YouTube channel and saw a whopping 39 cents. What? And that kind of bummed me out. I mean, I did all this work, made all these videos, and I only got 39 cents. So I decided to give up. Yep, I stopped monetizing my videos. But what I wasn't paying attention to was this little number right here. The playback based CPM or earnings per 1000 views. And recently I was watching a video by Biazza. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry if it's not. And he was talking about how he's one of the highest paid YouTubers with a $70 CPM. And I realized that the little number that I skipped over three years ago was almost double the amount he was talking about. He was getting a $70 CPM and my videos were getting $139 CPM. But why was I still stuck with my 39 cents? Well, we need to understand how the YouTube revenue engine works. The YouTube revenue engine works on a CPM. In layman's terms, that is per 1,000 views. That is the amount an advertiser is willing to pay per 1,000 views on a video. And there's another number called RPM. And this is the number that your video makes on 1,000 views, whether they're getting paid for or not. And this is a more overall type of metric. And here on YouTube, a $70 CPM is pretty damn good. On October 19th, 2020, this video generated $492.12 CPM. Wait a minute, am I saying that this video got almost 50 cents per view? Well, let me explain. If we look at that date in October, that video got a whopping 24 views. Off of those 24 views, I got paid $8.90. Meaning, for that one day in time, I got 37 cents per view. Not bad, right? Now, if we zoom out a little bit, because that's just one day in time, and we want to look at this overall. And overall, this video got 3,600 views and it generated $289, which brings us to an overall total of eight cents per view. And considering that the average across the board for YouTubers is less than one penny per view, this is pretty good. But how does this work and is it sustainable? Now, in order to understand how this works, we need to go to the source, Google, where they get the ads from. As we all know, YouTube pays through the AdSense platform, which is kind of like the reverse of Google Ads. So if I go to Google and I search for something like chicken parmesan recipes, we're going to see that there are no advertisements on this page at all. It's just a bunch of recipes. However, if I search for something like refinance, we're going to see there are actually quite a few ads on this one on the top here and down here on the bottom. And you can see that they say ad by them, letting me know that they are paying Google every time someone clicks on their site. Now, what this means is that there are advertisers, a lot more advertisers, willing to pay for the word refinance than are willing to pay for the word chicken parmesan recipes. This is going to have a big impact in how your videos do. So if we go behind the scenes and we look at the Google AdWords keyword planner, we can actually type these words in and see what the competition is like and see an average of what these people are paying per click. So if we take a look at chicken parmesan recipes right like this, we are going to see that the competition is really low and it doesn't even show bid prices, which means there's not that many advertisers in this type of niche. On the other hand, if we type something in like refinance, you're going to see that the results look a lot different. We could see that some of these are getting up to $146 per click on a simple Google search. And the competition is really high, meaning there's lots of advertisers that want this traffic. And there's several different niches here on YouTube that pay really well. You have stuff like e-commerce, 
if we type that in here, we can see that lots of e-commerce companies are paying lots of money for this traffic. The same thing happens if we look for a specific type of software. If we do keyword tool, we can see they pay quite a bit and the competition is pretty decent. And you can see here that this video we talked about earlier was actually about keyword research and tutorials and tools and things like that, which is why it got a higher amount CPM. It's important to note that while these aren't exact numbers, these are gonna determine the profitability of a different niche. So if you were to go out there and make videos on topics that get a higher amount in the Google AdWords planner, the chances are you're gonna make more money with your YouTube channel and your monetization. This is actually really easy to do. If you're in a recipe niche, can you make a video reviewing an outdoor barbecue? Or if you're teaching people about photography, can you review a certain type of camera that fetches a higher amount per click? If you're doing Excel finance sheets, can you go out there and make a video about refinance? This is gonna fetch a much higher CPM for your channel, and you could make maybe one out of five or one out of 10 videos about one of these topics and drive a lot more money. And you can even drive some of your previous viewers to these videos using cards, links in the description, and even suggested videos on the end screen. And this is exactly why my channel, even though the views are relatively low and I'm still a small channel, we are seeing a higher ad rate compared to many other channels, simply because I focus on topics that I know people are gonna be interested in that fetch a higher amount per click. For example, instead of making a video about how to start a blog, perhaps I can make a video about the different web hosting types or web hosting companies. And again, while this isn't an exact science, you can clearly see the difference in what the advertisers are willing to pay. Now, while this is showing the Google AdWords bid amount, the YouTube ads run on a different set of bids where an advertiser can specify, I'm only willing to pay this on YouTube, but I'll pay this for a Google search. So the numbers aren't gonna be exact, but it is a good rule of thumb if you wanna start making more money with your videos and become a higher paid YouTuber. We also have loans and finance, which always pay well. Insurance, where advertisers are paying a fortune. Mortgages, tech reviews on high-end products, health and weight loss, and even the legal niche. And as you can see, these people are paying big bucks to get traffic to their websites. And since YouTube is pulling from the AdSense ad platform, some of these advertisers are willing to put ads on YouTube videos, and as a publisher, you get paid a portion of that money. The key to making money on YouTube is to pay close attention to what your videos are about. Pay attention to the advertisers that are willing to pay for the views that are being generated through your channel. When you do this, you can actually make a lot of money, even with a smaller channel, if you do it right. And obviously, a channel about recipes is gonna make a lot less than a channel about credit cards. But the channel about recipes is gonna reach a broader audience, thus get more views. And while the channel about credit cards gets less views, it's actually going to make a lot more money. And if you wanna make a living on YouTube, the key to doing this is to focus on a tight knit audience, the exact person that you want to reach. For example, I could go for everyone in the world that wants to make money online. However, I want a very specific audience searching for something very specific so that I can get them into the content that I want them to watch that's gonna have them buying things from me, clicking on ads that make lots of money and overall I'm gonna generate a lot more money this is how I've been able to generate over seven figures with a small YouTube channel by paying attention to exactly what my visitors want to watch what they want to purchase and what the advertisers are willing to pay so before you sit down to make your next video do some keyword research and see what the advertisers are paying for and find out how you can fit that into your market create a good video about that topic and then watch the views and money start pouring in and again remember this is all a rule of thumb we don't know exactly what the advertisers are willing to pay but we can make a good guess based on the numbers that are out there using the tools that are available online to learn more about this method, make sure you click the video that's gonna pop up here and look in the description for other videos going deeper into how to make money with YouTube.